Yo, what's up guys, so Eddie here. Uh, today we have another graphic effects tutorial. This one was actually requested um, by like Urkel Cinema, or I, I guess I really don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, he was wondering on um, my face clan video. Uh, when I had these fractals that I put behind it, uh, that's probably not an example because it's already the color. Um, uh, like this one, for example. Uh, he was wondering how I changed the color to red. Um, yeah. And it's actually a very easy tutorial, so, and there's actually very many ways to do it, so, uh, I'm actually gonna give out a couple ways. Uh, there's a lot more ways. You can also use this for, like, text and stuff, uh, everything that you really want to change colors. Um, this way I use a lot for like images and stuff because it doesn't make the color blatantly, you know, different. So, this one seems like a pretty drastic color. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it to blue. So, let me just drag it around Photoshop. Uh, and if you're wondering, if you want some of these, I'll just, uh, put a little link in the description to download some. Uh, I'll make a little pack of them. Okay, so. The way I usually do it is I go over here to my adjustments uh, window. If you don't have that, you go over nope, not that. window um, adjustments. You can just bring that out. Um, and then your adjustments, you have a bunch of little things. Uh, and I'm just going to grab the photo filter. Um, now, there will be two little things filter and color. Uh, you just want to go to color. I usually just leave it where this little thing's at, and then you just want to pick a color that you want, so I'll just do blue. And, um, you want to go down to density, and you want to bring that all the way to the top, so it has the most effect. Um, now, sometimes, uh, one won't be enough, like, it won't be completely blue like you want it, so you just duplicate the layer, and then you, uh, then you keep on duplicating it, how many, how many times you want. Uh, so that's one way. Um, another way, this is mostly for text, uh, I guess you can use it for images too, is you want to make sure the layer is rasterized, uh, which it looks like it is. We're going to go up here to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and you just want to change the color, so. Like, you know, so I can just change it, uh, up here. You can mess around the saturation of crap if you want to. I want that just looks good. To make it more colorful if you bring it up. Yeah, so you can just mess around that. That's mostly, a lot of people usually use that for text. Uh, you know. There's some other ways too, like curves. Uh, curves, you can add a curves. Uh, maybe, you know, while we're at it, add some darkness to it. Um, go over to our blue, bring the blue up. Uh, this isn't as strong as the other ones. Um, maybe bring the red down to get more of an aqua look. The green down a little bit for a purple look. Uh, you know. So, that's not as strong, but it will give it a little bit of tint. Um, some other ways of doing it would be uh, a gradient overlay. Um, now, these are more, this is more getting into color corrections. Uh, like putting on a black and white to make it darker and like bring that down a little bit you know but you can also put on a black and you want to always have your uh, color as black and another color so like I'm gonna do black and blue for example Let me just delete this. and then you just want to put the gradient map to like over there or stuff like that. Now this will just give it a little bit of a tent, it won't give it that much, so yeah. Um I think there is some other ways I really just don't know them. So yeah, so there's also a human saturation in your adjustments layer, so uh and I'll make an adjustment, but you can just do it straight on that image and uh, it'll be the same thing. So uh thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it actually helped. Uh he said to be clear and uh I'm not that clear on things. <laughs> so, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Oh, wrong button. Oh, uh, yeah.